Good evening, guys. It's Carrie Ann. So I had somebody ask a very important question on the previous video, if you're following along with the Lapgan um, project video series. Um, so they asked me, how do I increase my stitches so that I can make the Lapgan wider? So the project we're working on, it's a Lapgan size, so it's not very big. It's a little bit bigger than a baby blanket. So somebody wanted to make it bigger, and they wanted to know how to increase uh, the size of the, the Lapgan. So I figured I would take this opportunity. I'm hoping that this is not going to be a long video, um, just to show you briefly how to read a pattern and then how you can go about increasing the size of the lapgan. So real quick here, this is uh, my pattern. So if you purchase the pattern and download the PDF, this is what you're gonna see. You, It's eight pages. Um, you get some information about the mosaic crochet technique. Um, this was the pattern we did in the last video. Um, and this is pattern two that we'll be working on in the next video. So what you'll see with each pattern is you will get a chart. And this is what the chart looks like. Some people like to work from the chart. And then some people like the written instructions. And there are some patterns out there you buy where you just get the chart. Um, some patterns you buy you will uh, get the written instructions with the chart. Um, I give you both in my pattern. So you get the chart and uh, row by row, it's written out um, an instruction. So let's take a quick look at this chart. So if you're working from the chart, you will be working from right to left and from bottom to top. On the right hand side, you'll see your row count. So this is your row count, one, two, three, four, and upwards. Um, this column here is your color. So this is color B or your pattern color, color A, your background color. And so each row is alternating. Um, in this particular pattern, which is the next pattern in the project, um, you're starting with your color B, which is your pattern color, and then color A, which is your background color, and then alternating throughout. <clears throat> this um, column here indicates your border stitch. So this is where you start. So the red O's on the first row, on this first row here, that red O is a border stitch. If you go down to the end of the row, you'll see another O, so you end with a border stitch. The boxes with no X's in them is a single crochet stitch. Boxes with an X in them is a double crochet stitch. You don't get confused with the colors in the boxes. What you're paying attention to is whether or not the box has no X or an X. So again, no X is a single crochet. X in the box is a double crochet. <clears throat> in the lap GAN, moving forward on pattern two and on the rest of the patterns as well, you have your O here which is your border stitch. And then you have two stitches that do not count towards your pattern stitches. And then you have 23 pattern stitches and your stitch count is down here. You have two more boxes or two more stitches that are not counted as part of the pattern and your border stitch. So you have one, two, three, four, five, six stitches that are not counted within the pattern. 
So when you're working your first row here, you do a border stitch, two, sing two single crochet stitch, one, two. And then we start on our pattern stitches, one through 23. They're all single crochet stitches. And we repeat that five times. So you see this part right here, it says repeat this pattern, this part of the pattern times five. So you get to your 23rd stitch, you're gonna repeat it again. You go back to stitch one and repeat it again. And then you do that five times. After your fifth repeat, then you would end with a single crochet, single crochet, and a border stitch. So like I said, some people like to work off of the grid. And then if you're like me, I, I have to have the grid in order to make the design. Um, so I figured why not give you both the grid and the written. I really like to work off the written, um, which is what you see in my, in the video, previous video. So you see row one, color B, which is your pattern color, crochet a border stitch, single crochet two stitches, and then in the parentheses is always where you have your repeats. In row one, there's, there's no repeat. You're single crocheting 115 stitches. Then you're ending with a single, cro single crochet two and a border stitch. Row two is the same as row one, but if you look at here, you're, instead of starting with your two single crochets after your border stitch, you're switching to a double crochet. So you have your border stitch, your double crochet, two. And then these are your pattern stitches, double crochet, 115. And you end with two double crochets and a border stitch. Row three is the same, except you're switching off to single crochets. Row four is where you begin to see your repeats, right? So row four, color A, border stitch, double crochet, two stitches. Everything in these parentheses here are your repeats. So single crochet one, double crochet one, single crochet five, double crochet four, all the way down and then when you get here you see it says time five so you do you go back to the stitches in the parentheses and you do that five times you end your row with a two double crochets and a border stitch so your pattern stitches in this project are in multiples of 23 so we are doing, we are repeating our pattern stitches five times in the lap gan. That's how I came up with our number. If you remember, we did our foundation row. Um, we did, in our foundation row, we chained 122 stitches and the reason why it was 122 is because when you go back down the chain you're skipping one stitch you're skipping the first stitch and going into the second you end up with 121 stitches so for the size for the lap gan you're doing multiples of 23 five times so 23 times 5 is 115 stitches you have six stitches that aren't counted within that pattern. So it's 115 plus 6 equals 121. If you want to increase that by 6 times, you would repeat, do your repeat 6 times. So it's 23 times 6, which equals 138 plus 6 stitches. You will need 144 stitches. If you want to repeat 7 times, it's 23 times 7, which is 161 plus 6. You will need 167 stitches. If you want to repeat eight times, it's 23 times eight, it's 184 plus six equals 190. And then if you want to repeat nine times, it's 23 times nine equals 207 plus six. You'll need 213 stitches. 
And if you want to repeat 10 times, which is essentially doubling the size of the lapgan, you would do 23 times 10 equals 230 plus your six equals 236 stitches. So you, if you were doubling the size, you would need 230 work, I'm sorry, 236 workable stitches. Now, if you are increasing the width of your project, you will also need to increase the length of your project, um, which simply means you're going to have to repeat the entire patterns throughout. Um, and I'll explain that when we get to that point, um, but it's not very hard. So for example, um, let me see. If we look at this picture here of the lapgan, <clears throat> I repeat pattern two twice, once at the end, once on each end here, there and there. Pattern three is repeated one, two, three times. Pattern four is repeat, repeated twice. So you would want to probably repeat patterns, this pattern here, this S pattern, and this center pattern a couple of more times to lengthen your project. So I hope that makes sense. Um, let me know in the comments if you have any questions, um, but that is the math you need to do if you want to make a larger lapgan, maybe turn it into an afghan or um, however big you want to make it. That's going to be up to you. Throughout this project, we are doing multiples of 23 times 5, um, but you can certainly increase that if you want to by using this math here. So. Let me know if you have more questions. I'd be happy to answer them, um, and I hope this makes sense. Um, and I'll see you guys tomorrow with um, the tutorial for Pattern 2. Bye for now.